Hello, dear friends. Chris here. I hope you're well. Um, before I get into the crux of the video, I would first like to say welcome to any new viewer. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy my content. And please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. I uh, truly appreciate you coming here, and I hope you stay. And to all my true blues and returning viewers, thank you for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. Um, I also want to say, of course, every, these, I have three products here for you. They will be linked below, as well as my Instagram, my Facebook group, group I share with my friend Angie, and uh, my code for Uniquely Yours down under to save 10%. Um, so, uh, with that, I have an um, unboxing, if you will, of three items from One Day Savings. And uh, so let's get to the first thing here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a unique video in a certain way. I'll get to that later. But So they sent me this thing. It's like a border type. Um, let me actually bring it up on the website. Uh, it's called a multifunction self-adhesive 3D pattern edge decoration molding trim border frame. <laughs> So it comes in uh, colors, it comes in purple, brown, yellow, black, blue, gray, orange, gold, and white. So this is the white one. And so this is basically, if you have a diamond painting, um, I don't, oh yes, I do have one over here. I didn't want to show you the one I'm using, gonna show you in a minute. So if you have a diamond painting like here, and uh, you want to leave, I guess, not cut this off or, or technically put it in a frame itself or just paste it to the wall. You can put this uh, adhesive around the edges like this. And I'm sure um, I would be hopeful that you have enough on here. Let's try at least for this one. Yes. You'll definitely have enough to do a 30 by 40, possibly uh, a 40 by 40 or 40 by 50. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if it says here anywhere. Mm -hmm. Oops, no, go away. Sorry, I'm just trying to find this out. I don't see it. I'm doing just a quick look. I don't see the, if it, how, how much bigger you can go, but this will definitely for sure fit a 30 by 40. And so it's, it's nice. Um, you know, something different. It's a spongy, uh, thing. Um, here it is up close and it's a little, you know, again, it's, it's good if you just want to hang this up without having an actual frame. And I mean, why not? Try? It's always good to try something different, right? And so here on the back, you just, again, you just peel this off. It's sticky, you know, and it'll stick right down. And it does stick pretty good too, I have to say. So that, I don't think that's coming off uh, easily when you put it down. So if you like something different, even just to try it, see what it's like, um, check it out. Um, I didn't have one necessarily available. I don't want to waste this. I actually want to try to use it, but I didn't go through my whole stash of like uh, finished diamond paintings um, previously to, to actually do that on, but uh, it'll definitely work and it'll definitely have, um, a, give it a different look. So there's that. Now there's this. So uh, there's a couple of stories about this one. First off, I got this before I did my square. So I just recently finished a square painting. Uh, now let me tell you, I always say squares are work. I don't hate them, but I really am not a huge fan. Um, just because it, it's very, I'm very OCD about the placing. And also I learned, and which I always forget, which it reminded me of, when I did it, um, because of the my obsessiveness with 
straightening drills with having them in the right way and um, just you know, how you have to place them down just naturally, there's more force and it does actually hurt my hand and I actually do get hand issues when I do squares. And I have got this right when I, I was itching to do a square. I haven't done one in a long time. And I just happened to come across this painting in a square. Now I had, I have in another video, I will have a companion piece that matches it in a different color, which is around. And so I just thought, oh, let me try this. It only comes in square in this color. Um, I haven't done one, so, uh, and it's a smaller one. I, so, you know, why not? Well, it's a 40 by 50. And I, again, I, it's fine. I'm still gonna do it, I'm sure, because I like the image. But it's like, I never buy squares from budget companies usually, and I never, I don't really buy them anymore, even from premiums, because of my issues with squares. I know I'm just blathering on about my square issues, but I'm, this is just part of the story. That's why I have a square here. Now, the other part of the issue why I'm showing you like this, I actually, I'm going to show you the drill field and I'll show you the drills, but I'm not gonna show you the whole painting because I got this and I was kind of debating and the same thing with the other one, you'll only see part of it. I don't know which video you'll see first. So um, you might have heard this part of the story already. The image looked familiar. I'm not somebody who does research when I pick out products. Um, it's not something that really matters to me all that much. Uh, I know that's controversial and I'm not setting this up for any sort of debate here. I'm just truthful and honest about it, um, about image and all that kind of stuff. And normally that doesn't bother me. However, this piece is kind of connected to somebody I know personally and it's a sticky wicket kind of thing so I don't want to actually show you the whole thing based on a personal issue I have with somebody and, and it's just that's just it it's I'm not going to go into it more I, so, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you what the square drill field looks like from here so it is clear um per squares which is something i always never understood from most companies instead of using the straight alphabet and numbers they tend to use a lot of symbols i don't know why i personally my brain works better with numbers and letters and then use symbols if you have to at the end but they tend to always want to use more symbols and then throw in a couple letters and numbers. Whatever that's about, who knows why. Um, but there is a good mixture on here. Uh, as you could see, this has a very much of a orange and red, yellow type color palette. Um, again, I wish I could show you the whole thing, but I'm just not going to do that. But I will show you the drills, or at least some of them. Only because I don't, you know, usually don't use squares from budget. So I just wanted to check them out. So here we have the beautiful, this beautiful color. This uh, orangey, light orange. Um, I'm not seeing any issues. I never find issues until I start working on them. Um, I tend to find that with the budgets that I've seen, their drills don't tend to pop, but they tend to have more gaps. And I'm not really a fan of that. I kind of almost rather deal with popping than gapping because popping, it might drive you up the wall, but uh, gapping, it makes it kind of look junky. But here are some, what they look like. I don't see on a quick inspection many issues they all they basically look kind of fine and no issues i don't really see concaves anywhere or tabs so that's a good thing but a beautiful color um again another beautiful orange color let's go to the big thing the black of course this is the most 
Ooh, that's really vacuum sealed in there. The ones that give you the troubles. Super shiny, that's for sure. But again, these look pretty good, I have to say. I'm not seeing an issue with them. Again, just on close, quick inspection, I'm not seeing any tabs or any concaveness. They all look really straight and nice. Uh, but again, only time will tell with, you know, the squares. And so, I'm actually not going to link this one below um, because of that reason I don't want to kind of, you know, I just don't feel comfortable with that. Again, since there's a personal issue there. So I'll link the this foam thing, the foam border, I should say, not the thing, the border, and the second painting. But the, this other one I'm not going to link below either. I don't, oh, you uh, curious cats out there. <laughs> so again, here are the colors. Finally, we have the last one. Um, this one I'm probably going to do for Pride Month, I think, because I really like it. It has all the beautiful colors. Um, here we go. So, this is a 40 by 70 uh, canvas size. And we have flowers and butterflies two of my favorite things who doesn't love flowers and butterflies i know i do and uh oops just need to see that and we, we have in different colors and against a, a colorful wood uh background this is really really pretty i thought they have a couple different styles in this um butterfly flowers and ba wood background thing on the site i believe um very this is certainly confetti although there are a lot of line blocking so it's kind of a good mix you know yeah i can see a lot of line blocking especially in the wood here uh, definitely more confetti as we get into the butterfly and the flowers. Those are lot, much more confetti-ish. But again, there are some color blocking in the flowers. So it's a good mix. It's a good mix. I tend to find a lot of the budget companies do a good have a good mix of color blocking and confetti. So you get a bit of both. Nice, very nice stick on it. There's 24 colors. Again, we have our legends on both sides. Um, not really having an issue with seeing anything uh, unclear. But yeah, I so I really think this is pretty with that colored wood and uh, the nature scene. And so this is a perfect canvas for Pride Month. I kind of feel I want to do this. I have about five set aside that I'm going to do because I'm going to work on pride stuff all month. A lot of times when I do an event, I tend to do my one that I picked out and that's it. But for no, for pride month, I'm going to do colorful things um, all month. And um, by the way, I don't know if you're going to see this now or not or soon. I don't know. I have to, I don't know my schedule in these videos. I will have I have two events coming up, uh, Pride, Pride event and another event. Now, I the Pride event's a lot. I'll just say this real quickly, um, I don't because I don't want to make it about the event, but it's a much the Pride event is much more easy breezy kind of thing. Just choose something if you want to be a part of it um, that has lots of colors in it. It's the rainbow, you know. It does. It doesn't have to be Pride. Um, specific as far as you know you don't have to do a golden girls about future because they're they're connected with the gay community you know you you know just the colors of the rainbow reds and yellows pinks and greens purples oranges blues you know something that has very colorful you know and so if you like to do join me and angie who's my co-host and also uh our you know other hosts jenny and Rose from Unique Leaders Down Under. Uh, just colorful. Colorful, color, colorful. 
Um, yeah, so anyways, that's it. And the other event, I'll have more info coming on that later. I'm going to do a separate event, a, talking, uh, a video doing talking about those two things. Um, so you all know what is going on. But I just want to tell you, because right now it's the beginning of May, so uh, don't feel that you have to. I'm only mentioning this now because don't feel you have to. Uh, you can't participate because you don't have a, a canvas. I'm sure you have a canvas. Most of you will probably have a canvas. Again, if you want to participate, um, that will have lots of color in it, and you could just work on that. Uh, whereas the other event will be much, much more specific and honestly harder to find canvases. So I'm going to have to tell you all in uh, advance time. Whereas the Pride one, you could probably just pick one any out of your stash. And most likely, it'll have lots of color in it. But that's all we really ask for is colorful, colorful canvas. So here are some of our drills. Again, beautiful, beautiful pinks. Some browns. Uh, the deep um, magentas. Here we have a love the white. Beautiful, striking white. You know, blues, some greens. Very nice. Oh, let's just look at the last one I want to show you. is the yellow and purple. So, lots of color, lots of color. So again, we have our colorful wood nature one. Um, again, I'm showing you this just so if, you, if you're uh, interested in a square from them, this is what the square looks like. It also um, comes, it's a little bit different. It comes on a larger size and the, the, the um, and we had our border. Now, before I leave, I just wanted to say this too. Um, if you're interested in shopping at One Day Savings, um, they did give me a discount code for you all. I will link that below with, again with these two items that I showed you. Um, it's to save 5%. Um, I will tell you the discount code, but I'll write it below because it has to be exact how it is. Um, it's my last name, which is capital K and then small case O-L-A-S-A -A 0 5 and then capital O-F-F. -F. So, um... Again, I'll put that below with the items. Um, thank you so much, One, uh, one Day Savings. Um, yes, and again, check them out. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, please uh, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay, stay happy. And until next time, bye, guys.